What's going on guys? Gomes here back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. We just heard news about the Father's Day program, what it's going to entail. That is going to be releasing tomorrow. So we're going to go over all the details on the free diamonds we're getting there. They dropped an absolute monstrosity of a patch big patch hopefully that's going to help a lot of things in this game hints towards the new headliner coming tomorrow should be a big diamond and uh yeah a lot of news to go over but before we do as always make sure to leave a like down below if you guys have been enjoying the videos subscribe if you guys are new getting really close to 40,000. let's see if we can hit it today or tomorrow on a huge update including ducks on the pond too and uh big gameplay coming later tonight make sure you guys go ahead and check that out getting into this one now um they did release a twitter video explaining the father's day program the first new diamond that we're going to be seeing is a 93 overall ken griffey senior probably the most face uh famous baseball dad of all of course ken griffey senior uh is going to be honored in this program and we're going to see a 93 variation now they did not drop the attributes corresponding to him but this is the 97 from last year now i went back if you look at the card it is from uh 1976 when he was with the cincinnati reds that is when the prime card shows and that's not always true sometimes they don't correspond for example uh, Ben Zobers card doesn't correlate to his prime necessarily it's not the uh, actual prime card being 2009 I think it's the 2010 card but I, I digress I'm too much of a nerd for this so I think looking at that uh, in 76 he had a 450 slug with only six home runs in the following year he had a 467 slug I think the biggest downfall we're gonna see being that he's gonna lose four overall is likely going to be on power which I'm sure is what none of you guys want to hear uh, but I would imagine he would have uh, 50s or lower power uh, probably relatively the same fielding maybe that dips a little bit but i think contact and speed is you know always going to be ken griffey senior's forte that's what you're getting him for i would imagine a bit like a tony quinn except a uh, little less defense is what we're going to see as far as ken griffey senior is confirmed uh so that is going to be uh tomorrow in the father's day program and we also saw another new diamond that's going to be coming and this is an 87 kavan biggio not from last year though this is a absolutely new card i went back because i remember kevon biggio he got a tom's now card last year but i didn't remember him ever getting a player of the month and uh this is really interesting going forward they might make more cards like this of guys that didn't quite get cards last year and they're making up for it now this year of course it is looking like we might get a season I, I don't know let me know in the comment section is it gonna happen is it not is Robert Manfrod gonna come through uh, I don't know what's gonna happen but Kevon Biggio is gonna get an 87 overall diamond uh, I'm not really too sure what to expect like he's uh, like I said he did have a tops now card last year uh, but that's gonna be 87 overall again in the Father's Day program that's gonna be coming free and uh, there's probably a lot of guys that missed out on player of the month cards so uh this is going to be really interesting going forward maybe they're going to add some of those to the actual player of the month sets um but i'm really curious to see what they're going to do with this and i think it's a great idea you know if we're not going to have a season at least for the time being I think this is something they might have even wanted to do earlier in the year uh but i'm uh, gladly welcoming this for sure so that's gonna be two new diamonds coming uh and then we're gonna have a map preview like i said there is gonna be hidden packs within here uh, i'll grind that out pretty quickly tomorrow i'll have a video on all the hidden packs uh so that is going to be how it's gonna look nice dad just kind of the same thing alongside um you know all the conquest maps it is oriented around and uh, then a bat skin is gonna come out for free too the father's day bat skin is going to be uh part of the program as well uh so that's pretty much all we have to talk about as far as the father's day program in summary 93 ken griffey senior 87 kavan biggio uh then we're gonna have a conquest map with some packs and then also a bat skin so nice little uh nice little program i don't anticipate it really being too tough to do there's moment challenges as you guys can see right here from the schedule and then conquest map there might be a couple other missions that you need to do uh i'm not sure if there's gonna be exchanges but i uh, don't really think it's gonna be something back breaking work that you guys are gonna have to knock it out doing so and then we have this tweet about the headliner clues which uh is quite interesting you know there's always the debate does this actually mean something technically 
they are all right in a way this one as you can see is quite short so it should be pretty easy to guess um and what most people are thinking and myself included is gonna be joey vano you know this is a card we talked about yesterday as far as my ducks on the pond predictions uh we've been needing a first baseman for quite some time we haven't gotten one in uh quite a while and Joey Votto fits, fits like a glove, you know, that name fits right inside the question marks. Now, there's obviously, I'm sure, more guys that fit there, but being that we're seeing 99 Joe Adele, and we're seeing 99 overalls being pushed out in the fifth inning program, it seems headliners are going to follow suit, and this would make a lot of sense. It would be pretty good timing for a 99 or maybe a 98. Joey Votto, we're not for sure it's going to be a 99, but I definitely think his career is deserving of a 99. Uh, but this is his card from last year he was also a pack card he was in the signature pack and i would be really happy with this card you know he would be really really good great contact uh vision is at 92 really good power um defense at gold is nice he doesn't have an arm but you don't really need that at first base 53 speed is um about average for first base and on top of that he's a nice lefty swing which i think we all can uh you know really get off to myself included uh, myself especially uh so i would love to see joey Votto into the game again not confirmed uh it just does look likely that is what we are going to be seeing it's uh, probably an mvp joey Votto in the headliner set headliner set 29 pack that's going to be happening i uh, also want to make sure that you guys are aware that scuffy mcgee is going to be revealing uh his ducks on the pond card that is going to be uh tonight i will uh show you guys the tweet that he had and uh, i'll also link you down to uh where he is going to be revealing it so make sure you guys check that out uh, i still think it's going to be tom siever matt harvey potentially todd frazier and jay bruce no stop it you get you guys are really really reaching right now i don't think it's going to be either of those two i think likely tom Seavers, who we're going to see as far as that is concerned and then let's go ahead and talk about the patch for a little bit so um there's uh quite a lot of stuff that they did change and did add here so here we go on the show nation the first thing that we're going to talk about is uh um, the new swing analysis window you can see there's a couple new things that they added um, they have the wind on the bottom which they said occasionally affects gameplay I was under the impression that it did not anymore from last year when they took it out uh, here you can see the input of the actual player that did the swing uh, you know you have their contact their vision and power against that sided pitcher your swing timing is now on a scale so you can see how close you were to you know that perfect timing that good timing um, I would assume red is going to be, uh, you know, just late to where you don't make contact at all. Then the orange is going to be the very late. This is kind of the just late. Uh, then we get into, you know, the good, the perfect, and that, so on and so forth. They also show the exit velocity as uh, alongside the corresponding launch angle. And then also the result, which is in scorebook keeper's terms. So uh, if you get a single, it's called a 1B, a double, it's called a 2B. Um, so it's pretty interesting now this doesn't exactly affect gameplay it's just more uh revealing i guess you would say as far as understanding how good uh how close you were to um getting a certain timing and more so explain the result that you actually did receive right there so you can see a little bit more in detail as uh from what i just explained right there and uh it is pretty interesting let me know if you guys have played any games on the new patch let me know how you guys like this let me know in the comment section that did go live earlier this morning i've yet to play a game on there yet uh so that's talking all about the contact result feedback and then uh there's battle royale stuff we'll hop into the game in a minute and show you guys that uh, but a couple other things that they fixed uh fixed several fixes made to outfielders reacting to and catching balls in the outfield and or near the wall big thing right there this happens all the time the lock-ons have been improved but against the wall uh i i really don't know what's going on it's like you're entering the bermuda triangle everybody the the glare must be just abominable just searing through even reggie jackson's glasses because he makes so many dumbass plays hopefully that is going to help the cause fixed an issue that will cause the player to lose control of the defensive fielder after throwing to a base um i think that's really the only major one that we saw right here everything else is kind of minor 
um, and more so visual glitches, so to speak. Um, this is also big as far as energy balance. Removed energy regeneration for starting pitchers that pitched in the current game. So if you pitch with that guy even, three batters that's the minimum now uh you're not going to recoup any of the energy which is good uh, and it hopefully should help out the cause of people using kluber every single game and then slightly increased energy regeneration for all pitchers that did not pitch in the current game so this is more so going to uh make you think really do you want to use this guy because if Again, a Kluber situation, if you were to bring him out of the bullpen for just one little situation, he is not going to gain back any energy, whereas if you don't pitch him, he's going to gain back a uh, boosted um, amount to where he usually would have. So that's all the gameplay stuff. Let's go back into the game and talk about Battle Royale couple things here to talk about battle royale changes uh updated diamond rounds the first one is always guaranteed to be a 99 through 97 overall and your second diamond round there is still only two is going to be a 96 to 90 overall so right now you cannot get any 89 through 85 overall diamonds which is interesting uh, not a huge fan of that i would rather they added a third diamond round because there's a lot of cards that are you know fun to use in battle royale such as a derek d trick a lot of people like to use him uh but entries are now also free until the 26th they did this because of course we have the tournament uh which is going to be battle royale draft oriented and this is going to give you more um, opportunities to uh fine tune how you draft a team obviously the guaranteed pack is now a common pack it wouldn't make much sense to just farm packs that way technically if you guys really want to try and make some stubs uh, you would just keep going through drafts. It is free. It's just going to take you a little bit of thumb strength, a little bit of depreciation on your blue book value of your X button on your controller and uh, time. And you can get common players. You can put them in bronze exchange packs. Uh, don't recommend this. Use your time. Otherwise, there's flipping. There's market stuff. This is not a great way to make stubs, but I guess if you really want to have... Um, absolutely no focus while you're watching something on netflix this is viable i guess you could probably you know if you're gonna watch a lord of the rings movie which is god knows five six seven hours long uh maybe you can make two thousand stubs by the time that is all over so that's the new stuff in battle royale that's the update the father's day program two new diamonds coming griffey and kavan bgo battle royale changes the big patch again let me know if you guys have any comments concerns questions about any of this stuff we talked about there hopefully joey Votto and then scuffy's uh ducks on the pond card coming tomorrow as well big update good stuff to talk about if you guys did enjoy this one make sure to leave a like down below thank you all for watching hope you guys have a great day